Welcome to publicaddressannouncing.com's basketball training presentation. I'm Dr. JT Elliott, and I'll walk you through my personal script so you can be prepared to take the microphone. Now, let's begin. Here are a few of my tips and tricks for being a public address announcer. Put all of your scripts in a binder to keep them organized. Inside that binder, have clear plastic protectors so that nothing that spills is going to damage your scripts. Be sure to have ink pens nearby so you can write, take notes, make markings, and if someone else needs to make an announcement or so forth, they have something to write with as well. Highlighters are very important for basketball. You want to use two different colors depending on the team colors. You'll look at your rosters repeatedly and you'll have to state names and numbers very quickly. So it's good to have a blue team's numbers and players highlighted in blue, a red team highlighted in pink, a gold team highlighted in yellow, so you can quickly recognize the distinction between those different teams and players. When talking into the microphone, make sure that the microphone is in line with your mouth. So if you go down to read, the microphone goes with you. You don't want the microphone here while you're talking down. You want to project and enunciate directly into the microphone. Last but not least, prepare your voice. I like to say all the letter sounds in the alphabet. So A, A, B, B, C, K, and so forth until you've gone all the way through all 26 letter sounds of the alphabet and you've prepared your voice to speak into the microphone. One of the first announcements that you will do is the National Anthem, and that is a time where the crowd is more silent and quiet out of respect. It's always a good idea to have a copy of the lyrics of the National Anthem with you. For one time, I had to sing the National Anthem because my audio would not play. Another time, I had a little third grade girl who was singing the anthem and forgot the lyrics midway through, and luckily enough, I had a copy of the lyrics to provide her, and she could jump in where she had left off on her mistake. Now, here are some examples of presenting the National Anthem announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove your hats as we honor the United States of America this evening with the singing of our National Anthem. Tonight's Star Spangled Band is being performed by All Festival Chorus Singer, and North High School Junior, Micah Thomas. This evening's presentation of colors is brought to you by the North High School JROTC. Please remain standing until the color guard has exited the floor. Another tip is to begin your announcement as the color guard is presenting itself. Some schools, though, will not have a color guard that takes the court and may lower the flag from the rafters. You do not want to begin the singing of the anthem or the playing of the anthem until that flag has been lowered, or if it is presented, that the American flag is above the state flag, because no flag flies higher than the American flag. If you do not have someone singing the national anthem, then your announcement is much shorter as you'll be playing the anthem from an audio file. Here's an example. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove your hats as we honor the United States of America this evening with the playing of our national anthem. This evening's presentation of colors is brought to you by the North High School JROTC. Please remain standing until the color guard has exited the floor. After the national anthem, some schools still open their athletic events with prayer. If your school or organization does this, here's an example of the announcement. Before we begin tonight's festivities, let us open in a word of prayer. Leading this evening's prayer is Reverend John Doe of Community Christian Church. Please bow your heads. At the end of your prayer announcement, hand the microphone to the person who is praying. Your pregame announcement is a welcome to the crowd, but also a reminder that the game is about to start and a chance to get the crowd excited for the contest. Here's an example. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to John Doe Gymnasium in Bulldog Court, located on the campus of North High School. For this evening's basketball contest, featuring the visiting Trojans of South High School. Now going off script, there is a pause there to let the visiting team crowd cheer. Give them about three seconds and then jump back into your script. And your Bulldogs of North High School. Again, pause, so now the home team crowd can cheer before you go into any other announcement. One way to utilize your public address announcer to monetize your athletic program is through a game ball presentation. Here are a couple of examples. Basketball fans, at this time, please direct your attention to Center Court. This evening's local barbershop, Game Ball, is being presented by North High School Distinguished Student Sophomore Jane Doe. To earn the honor of being called a distinguished student at North High School requires dedication to classroom academics and character. This achievement is earned on the statewide standardized assessment given each spring. If you are a North High student who earned this honor, we ask that you please rise. Going off script, now pause so these individuals have the time to stand. Ladies and gentlemen, this evening, we would like to recognize all the distinguished students at North High School with a round of applause. Again, pause so you can allow the crowd to honor those individuals with the round of applause. That's your local barbershop game ball presentation. When you need a haircut or shave, be sure to visit the local barbershop located on Main Street, your official game ball sponsor for North High School basketball. Here's a second game ball example. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to center court at this time. This evening's Elliott Bank game ball is being presented by local charity president, John Doe. Local charity helps support men and women in need. They meet both their physical and emotional needs during difficult times. Please put your hands together in recognition of local charity and their service to our community. Going off script, you want to pause at this time so the crowd can give a round of applause for these individuals. That's your Elliott Game Ball presentation. For all your financial needs, including checking, savings, and loans, please visit your nearest Elliott Bank location. Elliott Bank is your official Game Ball sponsor for North High School basketball. One of the most anticipated moments of the game is actually during the pregame and starting lineup. This will be an exciting time where all ears are listening to you. Here are the examples for doing visiting and home team starting lineups. Introducing your starting lineups. First, for the visiting team on the scoreboard, the East High School Trojans. At guard, number four, John Doe. Now you want to pause between each player till they have stepped off the bench gone through their team line, and typically will go to the official to shake hands. When they break from the team line to go towards the official, that is when I usually start the next player announcement. At guard, number 10, John Doe. At forward, number 22, John Doe. At forward, number 34, John Doe. And at center, number 45, John Doe. The Trojans are led by head coach John Doe. Now we'll move on to the home team. You're more monotone with the visiting team, but you're going to be more exciting with your home team. And now, the starting lineup for your North High School Bulldogs. At guard, number three, Micah Thomas. At guard, number 10, John Doe. At forward, number 27, Micah Thomas. At forward, number 36, John Doe. And at center, number 50, Micah Thomas. 
The Bulldogs are led by head coach JT Elliott. Now let's get into gameplay. Basketball is a fast-paced game with a lot of action. I will do an example of the visiting team first, followed by the home team. You'll notice a difference with the visiting team relaying the information, but being softer in my voice, and being more exciting when the home team has a basket. Basket by Doe. Basket by Doe. If you noticed, my voice was different for the two announcements. Again, being quieter, but relaying the information correctly to the audience for the visiting team, but showing more excitement for the home team. Three-point basket by Doe. Three-point basket by Doe. Another way that you can monetize your basketball program is with bank shots. Getting a sponsor when a bank shot is made. For example, City State bank shot by Doe. Here are some other gameplay examples. Fouls on the Tigers, number three, Micah Thomas, his second, team's fifth. At the line for the Patriots, shooting two, number 11, John Doe. That was an example of a foul shot. Here's another example of a foul shot for you that's a little different. Fouls on the Tigers, number three, Micah Thomas, his second, team's eighth. At the line for the Patriots, shooting one in the bonus, number 11, John Doe. Here are a few examples of timeouts. Timeout on the floor. Timeout called by the Trojans. Full timeout. Timeout on the floor. Timeout called by the Trojans. 30 seconds timeout. Now at the end of each quarter of play, you want to give the score for the audience. At the end of the first quarter, your score is the South High School Trojans 12 and your North High School Bulldogs 14. Keeping track of fouls can be difficult to do. I've provided in your manuscript the sheet that I created and used to keep track of first half and second half fouls as well as individual player fouls. You still want to check with the head bookkeeper to ensure that you're on the same page with him or her and that what you present is correct, and that your number of fouls for the team and individual align with what the official bookkeeper has. Your concession stand announcements are very important because concessions bring revenue into the school and the athletic programs. Here are a couple of examples. Basketball fans, be sure to check out the concession stand located on the upper level of the gymnasium. There you can purchase a variety of refreshing drinks and delicious snacks. So be sure to visit the concession stand now. Here's a second example for the concession stand announcement. Just a reminder basketball fans to visit the concession stand. You can purchase from a wide selection of items on the menu, including fountain drinks, hot dogs, chips, and candy. The concession stand is located outside the gymnasium doors and is now open to serve you. This is just a reminder that there are templates in the back of your basketball manuscript that you can copy and tailor to your specific needs, such as the concession stand and the menus on the item and so forth. School safety is an important issue, so we want to announce the boundaries where people are and are not permitted. Here's an example. Basketball fans, we ask that you please respect the gymnasium floor boundaries. Only those who have been permitted by administration or basketball staff are allowed on the gymnasium floor. This includes team benches and baselines. This is for the safety of student athletes, personnel, and you, the fan. Thank you for abiding by this request. As an announcer, you will have individuals come up to you asking to play certain music. In your manuscript, is the guideline template for music requests. This is to hand off to the individual to officially submit their request and gives you and the administration time to see if that song is appropriate based upon the guidelines. Remember again, this form is in your basketball manuscript in the template section. You will want to check with your athletic director 
to see if you are responsible for providing music or if it will be provided to you to play. Now let's discuss the vehicle information announcement. There will be times where a Good Samaritan will inform you that someone has left their headlights on or someone will approach you saying that they have an emergency or have to go to work and someone has illegally parked blocking their vehicle. I have included the vehicle information template in your booklet for that individual to complete. Here are a few examples of vehicle information announcements. May I have your attention please? If you are driving a white pickup truck parked in the tennis court lot with license plate number ABC123, you have left your headlights on. Once again, that is a white pickup truck in the tennis court parking lot with license plate number ABC123. Your headlights are on. Here's an example of a vehicle is being blocked. May I have your attention please? If you are driving a blue Nissan SUV with license plate number DEF456, you have another automobile block and need to move your vehicle. Once again, if you are the owner of a blue Nissan SUV with license plate number DEF456, you have another automobile block and need to move your vehicle. This vehicle is parked in the main parking lot. Now let's move on to your fundraiser announcement request. Again, there is a template for an individual to complete in your manuscript. Once they have completed this, here are a couple of examples of a fundraiser announcement. Basketball fans, the North High School Computer Club is selling t-shirts beside the concession stand. Proceeds benefit the Computer Club's annual trip to the National Technology Conference in Nashville, Tennessee. Here's a second fundraiser example. The North High School boys baseball team is hosting their annual day camp this Saturday morning. The camp takes place at the baseball stadium, beginning at 8 a.m. and concluding at noon. This camp is open to all boys between the ages of 9 and 12. The cost is $20. All proceeds go towards the baseball team's general fund. Please see a baseball team member or coach for more information. Let's move on to the drug, tobacco, and alcohol policy. This may vary from school to school. All North High School facilities are drug, tobacco, and alcohol free. This prohibits the use of any type of illegal substance, alcoholic beverage, or tobacco product, including smokeless and e-vapor, by anyone on school property. This involves any school function, including athletic events. Any violation of this policy is prohibited. This policy is enforced 24 hours per day, seven days of the week, every day of the year. North High School is dedicated to having a safe and healthy environment for all to enjoy. Just because the game is ended does not mean your job is finished. As an announcer, you must wrap up this game and inform the crowd about the next contest. Here are some examples. Your final score, the South High School Trojans 55, then your North High School Bulldogs 62. Basketball fans, a round of applause for all the student athletes from both South High School and North High School. Thank you for your attendance at tonight's game. The Bulldogs will be back in action next Tuesday evening, March 1st, here at John Doe Gymnasium. Your Bulldogs will be playing against the City High School Lions. Tip-off is scheduled for 7 p.m. Please drive safely on your way home. Good night, God bless, and go Bulldogs. Here's a second post-game announcement, this time with your team playing on the road for their next game. Your final score, the South High School Trojans 77 and your North High School Bulldogs 59. Basketball fans, a round of applause for all the student athletes from both South High School and North High School. Thank you for your attendance at tonight's game. The Bulldogs will be back in action next Tuesday evening, March 1st on the road to play the Lions of City High School. Tip-off is scheduled for 7 p.m. Please drive safely on your way home. Good night, God bless, and go Bulldogs. That concludes the publicaddressannouncing.com basketball training presentation. If you would like more training videos and manuscripts for various sports, those are available on our website. Or if you have a request, please contact us at publicaddressannouncing.com. I'm Dr. J.T. Elliott. Good night, God bless, and I'll see you at the next game.